Okay, so this is crank polishing 101. Now I've got some sandpaper here, as you can see. This is what you're gonna need if you want to DIY polish your crankshaft journals. And I suggest you do this before you put new bearings in, just so that the bearing has the utmost best surface for them to ride on. Um, so I've got P600, 800, 1000, and 2000 wet and I also have some 320 so what you're going to want to do depending on how bad your rod journals are now you're going to want to basically feel with your nail along the rod journal and see if you can feel any scoring and if you have some scoring I suggest you start out with a, a low grit sandpaper maybe 400 320 or 6 and then just work your way up to 2000 and then you, you're going to polish by hand. Now one more thing you'll need is the actual polish when you get to that stage. I use this AutoSol metal polish. This works really good. And I use this with a kind of like a white t-shirt cotton material just like this. You just wind it up and put it around the rod journals. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. All right, so let's get started. All right, so we are under my car. As you can see, I have two jacks holding up the motor mounts because it's, the engine is basically just floating here. Um, I don't have the, uh, the strut tower brace on anymore, so I've, I had to throw this motor mount back on so that I could support it with the jack. That way I have access to the underside and the top side of the engine with nothing in my way. So, I've pretty much already polished all the journals except one. As you can see that one, you can see how nice that one looks. Well, that's what you want. That's the kind of finish you want to put new bearings on. Absolutely no scoring, nice polished mirror finish, and that'll give that oil a perfect surface for the viscosity to keep that bearing properly lubricated. All right, see that one? It's perfect. That's what you wanna see. So I have one more to do, which is this one right here. As you can see, it looks kind of bad, but it's actually not that bad. There's barely any scoring in there. So I'm going to start out with the low grit sandpaper. Start out with about 320 with some WD-40 on there. And then I highly recommend you use a shoelace me method. Okay, just grab yourself a, a shoelace at least 30 inches long. And I'll show you what to do next. Now you're going to want to cut your, your sandpaper strips just wide enough so that they'll fit right inside on top of the journal. Let's do that now. Okay, so step one, we cut our sandpaper into strips, about the approximate size of the rod journal. Now I'll take these under the car and I'll show you how I get started. Okay, so this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. You just wrap the sandpaper around the rod journal. Um, after you put WD-40 on it, wrap the sandpaper around it, hold it on with your finger, then wrap your shoelace around it, not once, but twice so that it looks something like this, okay? And then you just use two hands and just go back and forth, just like that, back and forth, but put a lot of pressure on it fast with your hands and just do that for however much time it needs until you keep checking it with your fingernail until you can't feel any scratches on that crankshaft. Once it's nice and smooth, you can work up to the next grit so the first stage usually takes the longest, then the, the next stages you just, you just got to do it for a few minutes until the, you get all this, the grit scratches out from the previous sandpaper. So let's get started. So I sanded that for about 10 seconds and then I just loosened up the shoelace and pulled the sandpaper away so that I could just check it see how it's going and it's going really good it's obviously looking better already so I'm going to keep going though with the 320 
until it's a little bit smoother and then I'll move up to the next grit until I'm finally uh, ready for the polishing stage. All right, so I finished sanding with um, 2000 grit on the rod number two here, rod bearing number two. Um, so this is pretty much what it looks like before you polish after you finish sand with 2000 grit. Okay, I, I started from uh, 320, I worked all my, my way all the way up to 2000, and honestly I spent a few hours sanding this journal down just to get it as nice and smooth as I can. So I got it real good now, I'm pretty happy with it. It's just about perfect. So now I'm ready to do the metal polish step, and I'll show you how we do that. Uh, you just take your auto saw metal polish, put some on your finger, and you basically just coat, coat the whole journal, put a nice coating all over it, then I'll show you how you wrap the rag around it next. So this is pretty much how I do the polishing step. I got my rag wrapped around the, the rod journal. I got it full of polish and I'll just basically pull the rag back and forth just like with the sandpaper. Do that a couple times, get it nice and, and polished up and then what I would do is I'll turn the crank so that the uh, oil hole is in the top position and then I'll do the same thing that way I can polish this side of the journal because it's kind of hard to to do it all in one one shot like the sandpaper so I'll just do it uh, this way for the polishing step so I'll do that and then I'll show you how it looks afterwards okay so I just finished polishing that only for about uh, a few minutes I did about uh, two or three applications of the polish so you can see how much shinier it looks now it's still got some haze on it um, so now you're going to want to clean up your oil hole. Okay, so there's some polish in there. So you're going to take your brake cleaner. Take your brake cleaner with your nozzle. Just be careful. Don't shove the nozzle all the way up into the crankshaft or you'll wash out the main bearings. So just put it just, just at the end basically and just try and get out that uh, little bit of polish there. Just like that. Now I'm shooting it this way because inside the crankshaft it's angled up this way to the main bearing. So I'm going to try and just keep it away from that. Just clean out that oil hole. Clean out the journal. Get all the polish out of there. And wipe it clean. A little bit of WD-40 on it for now so it doesn't rust. And there you have it. Look at that shine. Look at that shine. You see the reflection? That is what you want your bearing surface to look like. Nice polished finish. All right, so that about wraps things up, guys. Um, just so you know, I've probably spent about I'm going to say anywhere from 8 to 10 hours sanding this crankshaft. So it is not a fast process. It takes a long time and a lot of effort, but it's worth it. It saves money, saves you from having to pull your crankshaft. So yeah, just a heads up, it will take many hours to get the job done, especially if you have badly scored journals 
And don't forget, you can use this process on the camshaft journals as well, just to bring them back up to brand new condition. And that's about it for Crank Polishing 101. Thanks everyone for watching, and uh, stay tuned for my next videos where I installed my big single turbo, and I button up the top end again.